In this video, we will discuss about Isospora bellin. It is also called as Cysto Isospora bellin. Isospora belli causing disease name is called as Isosporiasis. Cysto R it causing disease Cysto Isosporiasis. So, isospora belli have other name cysto isospora belli. It causing disease isosporiasis or cysto isosporiasis. It is a protozoan infection. Transmission from one person to another through contaminated food and water. Morbology. Here, this one is mature oocytes. Mature oocytes. Mech immature oocytes, the sporocytes not completely developed. These sporocytes not completely developed. But in the case of mature oocytes, the sporocytes completely developed. It have two sporocytes, green color one, two sporocytes. Each sporocytes containing four sporocytes four four porocytes is present totally eight sporocytes presented in the single oocytes uh, then length 22 23 micrometer wide 10 to 19 micrometer then spindle shaped body wide is 10 to 19 this is the morbology of oocytes of isospora belly. Now coming to life cycle. This person, this person infected with isosporiasis. Uh, this person is created fecal material it containing oocytes. This oocytes uh, belongs to isospora belly. Uh, this one is immature in form because sporocytes are not completely mature. So, these oocytes undergo maturation process. So, first stage, what will happen? Immature oocytes with sporoplast will be developed. Here, sporoplast will be developed. Next stage, again, only these immature oocytes only developed, but here, the sporocyst will be formed after maturation process again inside sporocyst will develop mature oocytes mature oocytes the process is called as maturation again mature oocytes enter human digestive system how consumed by through contaminated food and water again it will enter human digestive system now what will happen in digestive system isosporiasis in human intestinal disorder because major part of life cycle occur in human digestive system our digestive system containing epithelial cell. This one is the epithelial cell. These are the epithelial cells. Uh, what will happen? Mature oocytes, mature oocytes which containing sporocytes. Uh, human digestive system through contaminated food and water. It will enter near, not inside, near to epithelial cell and attach surface of the epithelial cell so near to epithelial cell it will attach to the surface of that epithelial cell now what will happen cyst wall get ruptured the cyst wall get ruptured along with the cyst wall the sporocytes wall also ruptured each sporocytes containing four sporocytes these sporocytes will get protrude out will get released now it will enter to epithelial cell epithelial cell of human digestive system and this will undergo asexual reproduction the name of asexual reproduction name is called as psychogony psychogony uh, then it completely developed into zezant it developed into zezant 
uh, inside neuroside presented inside neuroside is presented once cision ruptured the neuroside present inside will released now the neurocytes will get developed into microgamete and ma macrogametes micro means female macro means male male gametes now fertilization of micro gametes and macro gametes done fusion occur here fusion will occur it is called as uh, here sexual reproduction here asexual reproduction here sexual reproduction after fertilization immature oocytes immature oocytes developed and it released out from human feces it released out from human fecal material again total life cycle will be repeated so again this cycle will be repeated the symptoms it will causes abdominal pain loss of appetite fever cramps nausea vomiting and extreme diarrhea symptoms uh, diagnosis oocytes in the feces material duodenal biopsy endero test then microscopy morphological comparison with other intestinal parasites then treatment purpose we are using trimethoprime sulfomethoazole and cortrimazole this is the statement thanks for watching